بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله continue on in our discussion of some of the names of Ahlul Sunnati with Jama'ah we mentioned about the importance of following the Salaf and the term Salaf and Salafiya and some of the other names throughout history that referenced Ahl Sunnah or the Salafiyun or Firqa Tanaji as we mentioned some of the other names were names such as Ahl Sunnati or Ahl Kitab wa Sunnah and that is because that they give preference to the speech of Allah over any other speech and they give preference to the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his guidance alayhi salatu wa salam over the guidance of anyone else so that is why they are a people of great status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should strive our best to be from amongst them and emulate them to be amongst the people of the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam people who give preference to the speech of Allah azza wa jal and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst them and some of the other names for example are Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah ay Ahl sunnah wal ijtima'ah Ahl sunnati wal jama'ah meaning the people of the sunnah and the group that refers to Ahl sunnah the people of the sunnah and the people who come together and so this is something very important that we have to re realize because what has happened amongst some Salafis and some people who claim Salafia is that they have taken it to mean that they are select and that they are exclusive and to cut off the rest of the ummah and not be a source of guidance and to distance themselves yes we distance ourselves from Ahl Bid'ah but do not become arrogant and think that you're someone of great importance over the rest and in fact you your concern your utmost concern because what happens when we have that type of mentality is that we begin to see the world in a very paranoid fashion cutting off everyone and we lose focus that we should be of Ahla Ijtima we should be of the people who are bringing people together and with that being said that does not mean we bring the people together on Batil and so this is another characteristic of Ahl Sunnah of how they distinguish between the other groups is Ahl Sunnah <coughs> does not bring the people together like uh, the Jama'at al-Tablik for example they bring anyone together because they just want you to pray and they want the people to just come back to the masjid first and foremost and be people of prayer and you'll see that their, their minhaj does not really change it doesn't really mostly it doesn't encourage seeking knowledge but rather it just encourages to keep that movement going and for this reason amongst the many other reasons that they have departed from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah for that reason because they believe that that is the rectification of the Ummah just by praying and in fact you'll find many people who pray and supplicate but they supplicate to other than Allah and they pray to other than Allah so then you know that that alone is not sufficient 
The Aqidah is where we start and the Aqidah is where we end. So that it's always important to continue to preach and teach Aqidah, creed. And that is what Ahl Sunnah, how Ahl Sunnah distinguishes from those other groups. And also, for example, you have groups like Akhwana Muslimin, who also believe in bringing the Muslims together. But they believe in bringing the Muslims together, regardless of creed likewise, and based upon political, often political rectification or changing the leadership in some form a fashion. It's a political agenda. It's a political movement. And again, this also goes against the madhab of the Salaf and the minhaj of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah because again, that ijtima'ah that the Salafis are supposed to be giving great importance is the ijtima'ah ala buk, ala kitabi la wa sunnati Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala itiqada on the correct creed and the correct methodology. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said about Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah, he said, Al-Firqa al-Najiyah, whom Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah? Fa sunnah ma kana sallallahu alayhi wa sallam huwa wa ashabahu alayhi fi ahdihi. Mimma amaruhum bihi. O aqiruhum عليه أو فعله أو فعله والجماعة هم المجتمعون الذين ما فرقوا دينهم وكانوا شيعا فالذين فرقوا دينهم وكان شيعا خارجون عن الجماعة قد برأ الله نبيه نبيه منهم. so أهل السنة he says that the فرقة الناجية the saved sect that they are Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah and he says and therefore the Sunnah is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was upon and his companions during their time and what they commanded and what they agreed, to, agreed with or allowed and what they practiced and what they did as actions. And he said the Jama'ah, the group, they are those who come together and do not divide their group into various sects and parties. Then therefore those who divide their group, uh, divide their uh, deen, their religion, and are from the sects, then they are outside of the jama'ah, meaning the jama'ah of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And Allah has made His Messenger وسلم, free from them. So that's a very important statement showing us in a very general fashion of how people leave being Salafi and how people leave being from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah if they are now calling to bid'ah and they are calling to other calls and other manahij other than that of the of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah then this of course takes them out of the fold of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah it doesn't take them out of the fold of Islam so understand that when we say someone's from Ahl Bidah that doesn't mean they are uh, uh, they, they're outside of Islam but we rather we're saying that they're away from the pristine uh, orthodox understanding of Islam that which the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala ajma'in were upon and so those who divide into groups, they make bay'ah to their imam, to their leader. For example, look at groups like ISIS and other Khawarij, Takfiri groups, uh, jihadi groups, that those groups, Boko Haram, Al Shabab, uh, ISIS, or Daesh, and other groups, that they make, they make themselves so exclusive that they make takfir ba'dhum min ba'd. They make takfir of anyone who differs with them and they make take fear of one another. And so Ahl Sunnah is not upon that. So those people are kharijina on a Sunnah. They are outside of the fold of the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.
And so from those important sifat or characteristics of Ahl Sunnah, as we mentioned prior to this, some of them, sifat of the Firqa to Najiyah, first is their ittisam bin nusus kitab wa sunnah wa taqdimaha ala ghayriha. The Ahl Sunnah, they give precedence to the text, to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam over other than it. So that's their, their main masdar, their main ihtimam and giving importance which is to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And another trait of Ahl Sunnah is their hirs ala Sunnah al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam is that they are also vigilant in adhering to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that they are the most uh, uh, mutamassikeen of, uh, of the book in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam other, which differs from Ahl Bid'a wal Ahwa. A third trait is they give importance to the hadith of the Salaf, the guidance of the Salaf Asari. Ridwan Allahi Alayhim, as we mentioned, the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam رضي الله تعالى عن المجمعين التابعين وتباع التابعين Another trait of Ahl Sunnah is that they Know and understand the haq in the correct minhaj, the correct sabir. And that they are merciful with the creation. And so, al wa rahma are characteristics of Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, Kunu qawamina lillahi shuhada'a bil qist. Wala yajrimannakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem. And be of those who are just for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or, or who are firm upon uh, you know adhering to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded and that they witness with justice that they are their witnesses over the creation and they are just and do not uh, belittle a people and do not be of those who uh, who do not dispense justice but rather Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands with justice and that is the closest to taqwa. So meaning that through being just with people, not being corrupt and lying, that this is a sifat of the mu'mineen, sifat of Ahl Sunnah. And along with that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with justice. So it's a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And thirdly, that that justice, dispensing that justice and being just in all of our affairs is closer to taqwa. So that's how we attain our, our taqwa, taqwa Allah which is adhering to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst Ahl taqwa. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. So those are important sifat of Ahl Iman and Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah.